Big Ben Darmstadt. Ben, I uh, had the pleasure of talking to Coach Cole this weekend. He said some pretty special things about you. He thinks you're going to be all right for the uh, the big rat up at Cornell. But uh, yeah. OAC 2016. Yeah. Is this where you've been all weekend? Uh, no, I just came up to see the finals, see how uh, our BTW guys are doing. I guess we're doing pretty good as a team. So uh, uh, it's, it's really cool seeing the little gray guy out there. Gray Burnett. No New York City for you. No New York City for you. No. Um, what what's going on? Why no New York City? Uh, because with uh, like state and then plus like that dream team thing, I miss a lot of school. So I was making up some school work. Speaking of the dream team thing, uh, you absolutely killed it. Crazy pin. Yeah. Very darn stadion of you. Uh, looking at that, the honor of competing in that and then going and performing how you did. How'd that feel? It was awesome. Like we went up there, they're treating us like rock stars, you know. They're like having us sign autographs and like taking us to like the Mall of America and stuff. It was sweet. It was great. Look Probably at the coolest event I've ever wrestled in. Really? Yeah. And you've been to Fargo. You've done it all. Yeah. Uh, you know, looking at your career, how you finished up, two-time state champ, three-time finalist. You guys don't get it done as a team, but you got to wrestle for probably one of the best coaches and best people in the state of Ohio, Eric Burnett. What's your relationship like with him, and, and how much has he done for you? He's like a second dad, you know. Eric, like, he's the reason that I'm where I'm at today. That's the reason why I'm going to now. Like, all the wisdom he has, and the, the technique, all the hours are just, you know, just killing me in the, in the practice room. Like, all my success is like, is like that. I look at Cornell, um, they had a rough weekend with Rebuto going down, he blew his knee out. Yeah. You'll be, you'll potentially be teammates with him depending on if you're doing finger legs for a year. I'm doing finger legs for So a year. finger legs for a year, delayed enrollment. And then um, that'll be a guy you'll be around though. Gabe yeah. Dean, you'll be around. Yeah. Gabe Dean said in the press conference last night I was in that the biggest thing for him was getting the, the crap kicked out of him by Cam Simons when he came in. Will that be the biggest thing for you? I, Maybe getting beat up a little bit by Gabe Dean? Well, first off, I've already gotten the crap kicked out of me by Cameron Simons. <laughs> he is, he's ridiculous. You know, he made me feel like I've never wrestled before. Like, he's, he's crazy good. So, uh, I'm excited to get the crap kicked out of me by Gabe Dean, too, you know? Where's Big Elliot? Your dad, Elliot Lewis. I don't, I don't see him. He's at, he's at home right now. I'm all right with that, because I never know when he's going to sneak attack me or yeah, what's happening no, with that just, guy. he's just chilling right now. Uh, looking at your style, uh, I think that you could have a special college career. Sounds like you're going to start out at 97. I'm sure that's a conversation you'll have with the coaches, but I think you'd easily grow into being a heavyweight and a heavyweight that people are really going to struggle with. Yeah. Right now you're 6'5", I think. 6'4". Six 6'4". Four. Six four. You're only going to get taller. Um, I'm having a hard time keeping the, you know, the camera. You're, I'm, I'm pointing it way up. But, could you grow into heavyweight? Is that something where it's down the line potentially? Uh, yeah, like I definitely got like the frame to like if I put on a lot of weight to be a heavyweight. You know, I just gotta get down at Cornell. You know, college lifting. See, see how big I get. Looking at this tournament, OAC. I don't think you ever won it, did you? Uh, fifth grade, I won it. Sixth grade, I got second. And then like when we got to junior high, like highest I got was third. Picture of the third place match, you're standing next to Hutch Burnett and you're a foot taller than him. Yeah. As, yeah. as an eighth grader. As an eighth grader. That's pretty funny. So, uh, one thing you want kids to know in the country about, you know, your wrestling career, youth wrestling, what, what would you say to a young kid that maybe is at this tournament is discouraged? Uh, even if you're not having the success like, like you thought you would, or maybe you were used to beating a lot of dudes and now they're beating you, you know, you just got to keep pushing through. You know, your style is going to develop. Like my, I didn't even place here since seventh grade year. I didn't place here since then. So like I just, you just gotta keep pushing through and develop, develop once you're uh, the, like the, the small things. You know, the small things are what make you better. Don't you got anything else for me, bud? Huh? You got anything else for me? Uh, go, go BTW. Man. All right, buddy. Good luck next year. Finger legs and moving forward with the Cornell Big Red. Thank you.